Let's talk about the Zorn palette. When discussing colors for the portrait, the Zorn palette is very often mentioned. The Zorn palette refers to a palette of colors. These colors are attributed to the great Swedish artist Anders Zorn because he made beautiful paintings that showed the power of using this limited palette of colors. Here is Anders Zorn, who was born in the middle of the 1800s, about the time that our French Impressionist friends were getting started with their adult lives. Here he is plein air painting, and here he is in his studio with his signature palette colors. Here is that list of signature colors for the Zorn palette. Titanium white, yellow ochre, vermilion, which nowadays is often replaced with cadmium red light, and ivory black. In alternative versions of the Zorn palette, ultramarine blue has been mixed with black, cadmium red light can be replaced with cadmium red medium, and there are reports of viridian or cerulean blue sneaking onto the palette. Here is the classic Zorn palette, the same one that we see in his self-portrait showing his own palette. A scavenger hunt through my studio produced this Chinese vermilion, Charvin white, whose consistency I like, because the little paint piles stand up very nicely, and two colors from Gamblin, the yellow ochre and the ivory black. A scavenger hunt was necessary to find the earth colors included in this palette, mainly because of my love for the French Impressionist tradition. I tend to use higher chroma colors, but the common thread is the limited palette. The Zorn palette uses yellow ochre. My palette uses azo yellow. The Zorn palette uses vermilion. My palette uses alizarin crimson. The Zorn palette uses ivory black. My palette uses ultramarine blue. So what type of colors can this Zorn palette give us? Let's have a look at works by Anders Zorn himself. The colors that we see in these images may be pretty expected since we're using an earth color, black, and just one high chroma color, red. However, look at the richness and high chroma that you can achieve with this palette. In the Zorn palette part two, I'll show you how you can mix up many fabulous colors for the portrait using the Zorn palette. Thank you for listening and happy painting.